Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the Bet Knitter. So this week we're going to go into something that I've done a lot, but kind of with a different twist. So this week I'm gonna do another unboxing, but the twist is that this time I've gotten the yarn from eBay. So I've always been curious about what I would get from something like this. You'd see on eBay a lot, or at least I've taken a look. Um, I don't know about where you guys are checking out yarn, but like about you see these huge lots for kind of very cheap, and I would always wonder what you'd get at in one of these. Um, because usually it seems like a good amount of yarn for relatively pretty cheap. So I wanted to take a look at it, see what I would get out of it, and just kind of have some fun. Now to be fair, I've never, I don't have a project for any of this yarn. So it's just kind of like out of curiosity. I didn't really have anything planned or a project in mind for this. So it was just kind of wanted to see what would happen. So, uh... All in all, what happened was I won two uh, of the auctions uh, for a total of 14 pounds of yarn. Um, I'm, I'll actually put a picture up right here of the box that I got. It was both from the same person. So it's I got a much bigger box than I thought uh, that I was going to get, considering it was 14 pounds. Um, but all inclusive, and uh, I paid for a total of $50, all inclusive shipping, handling, everything for $50. So um, let's go take a look at what I got and once uh, we unpack everything, we'll kind of do a rundown of what I got. I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back. So it was quite interesting. It took me a little while to unpack everything and kind of get everything organized. So um, as you could see, um, it was about a total of 70 skeins. Not everything was a full skein, but there was about 70 in there. So it was quite a bit of yarn when all is said and done. So it was comes out about a little less than a dollar per skein, which is kind of a, I'm okay with. And it was a wide range of yarn. Um, so most of it was kind of on the cheaper side, which I'm okay with, but some of it was really quite old and it was interesting because there are some that I just haven't ever seen of. I just wanted to share some with you. There's some like uh, brands that you could, that was in there that was for Michaels and et cetera, et cetera. So there was actually like Dawn Dynasty. This just looks old. It was $1.19 originally. Uh, I wish all yarn was that cheap. Um, and also stuff like Primrose. I mean, these looks like these are from like the 70s or something. It's like maybe the 80s just kind of how old the able labels look like. Um, if you Let me know in the comments below if you've heard of any of these or if they still exist. I don't know if they do. Um, which is interesting because like if I ever wanted to get more of this yarn to like do a very good project, I don't know if I could. Um, which is... I don't know how I feel about that yet. Um, once I probably dive into like making projects with this, but also there's like the gold label. Okay. It was actually 69 cents. That's how much I want all my yarn to be just like under a dollar. That'd be fantastic as we all know. And even like uh, something kind of cool. Um, the last one I shared was Antlina's, it's actually a rug yarn. 
Um, I actually haven't seen anything that's specifically for like rugs or something. Um, I got a little bit of, a little bit of this, so I'll have to kind of take a look at seeing do, uh, doing something sim uh, simpler. But also they do um, market this as machine washable and dry dryable, um, which is interesting and kind of cool considering um, not all yarn, as we all know, can go through the washer. A lot of it has to be hand washed. Um, so that's kind of cool. If you ever, if you guys ever know of other rug yarn, let me know. I'm kind of, I'd be interested to kind of figure it out. But so it was an interesting experiment. I don't know, do it again. I definitely got what I paid for, and I'm very happy with what I was uh, with the amount of uh, yarn that I got. Like I said, uh, 14 pounds, 70 skins of yarn gives me a lot of stuff to play with and kind of do some stuff with. Um, if you have any ideas of what I should do with it, leave, uh, give me some comments in the below the video so that way we can discuss and see what I can do. And I will see you next week. Bye!